When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. Saw the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it. Them niggas know when it's time to slam it on. Don't paint a little bitch blow. Before three left, he seen that for himself. He know the bro, no joke. Can't speak on none of the shit we did, and we can't say shit to the folks. All in my comments, I'm not slide for three. I slide for three. I can't show my hand or show my plan. Play it how it go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be talking about Cole Gotti. Alright, so look, man. Now, Rainwater recently had an uh, interview over on the platform called Mogul State of Mind. As I already told y'all before, he has more actual interviews than the rappers in Dallas, Texas. Like he's hotter than them. So, all the interviewers in that area, they'd rather interview him than the actual rappers. Embarrassing. Seriously. But he spoke about Kogati, you know. And he said something that I agree with 100%. And that's if Kogati started beefing with Mo3 Ops. Uh, I'm about to slide on y'all in every single song, right? He will be getting showed a lot of more love from uh, Dallas, Texas platform. Meaning more bloggers will start talking about him. And they actually start giving him a chance. You know, like they do the other rappers in Dallas, Texas. Who are actually struggling musically. But their names get a lot of views when you post about them. Because it's usually about messy stuff. That's the only way they can get views and attention. Nobody really cares if they're not being messy. I mean, go check for yourself. The views don't lie. This Mo3, you get a million views. Don't say anything about Mo3. You're barely touching 100,000 views. And same with the interviews, you know. Them being quote unquote popping rappers isn't what's getting them attention in interviews. It's them being messy. The quote unquote bad guy, as Rainwater labeled them as. And Kogati? Well, Kogati is the good guy. So that's why the blog's not posting about him. Because it's not going to get them views. Now, if he just came out and said, all Mo3 Ops are struggling rappers. And I already almost get more views than them. Being that I'm the little brother. Little brother. Then he'll get posted all over the place. But when he say stuff like, why go out there and end my life as well? Trying to slide for three. All that's going to do is leave more three uh, children with n no male influence. They need somebody that's going to love them just as much as their own dad did. And who else can do that for them besides his actual brother? So just stuff like that, man. That's a quick example. I thought that was pretty dope. But nobody's talking about it. Now flip the script and if he would have said, F my freedom. I'm about to crash out all you struggling rappers in Dallas, Texas that don't get that many views, right? Get ready. Now if he would have said that instead, Oh man, the guy be at 50,000 followers on Instagram, all the blogs picking him up. He will literally have all eyes on him in the entire DFW area. And that's a shame, man, you know. Especially since the Dallas music scene, when it comes to blogging at least, it probably made a come up after Mo3 died. Like most of the bloggers out there, they probably wouldn't be as big as they are if Mo3 never passed away. Because let's be real. Four or five years ago when I was talking about Mo3, it wasn't as many blog bloggers out talking about Mo3. His death was so big that it gave a lot of people out in that area a platform to become a YouTuber and start talking about talking about Mo3. And the fact that his little brother is out here now trying to make a name for himself, it seems like those same people will be the ones showing him the most love. Like your brother helped my platform, so now let me help you. I'll be completely honest with you. That's the only reason I started talking about Kogati in the first place. Because I appreciate uh, the platform that Mo3 did help me build off of his name. Because I have been talking about the guy for over five years now. But over time, Kogati's music actually got a lot better and I became a fan. So now I actually just post the guy because I genuinely like him. His music growed on me a lot. So I'm not saying people have to uh, rock with his music just because he's Mo3 brother. I'm saying, I'm surprised no one is at least giving the guy a chance. But on the flip side, let him go on Instagram Live right now and say, F Mo3 Ops. 
he'll be posted on every platform in all area. And that's why I agree with Rainwater here. People show more love to the bad guy than the good guy. If you are a true Mo3 fan, this is the person you will want to see win. But since he's not controversial, his music doesn't really get the attention that it deserves. But I'll say this, give him a couple of months. Watch how things change. And I'm pretty sure he's going to remember everybody that tried to play him. That's just going to make the success even better. You don't want people rocking with you just because you are controversial anyway. I mean, take my channel for example. I probably could easily be at 100k uh, subscribers right now if I just decided to respond to every single person who be mad as hell at me telling them that Mo3 better than them because that's drama. And the same here with Kogati. If he started responding to these people that be dissing Mo3, his views and also viewership would increase tremendously. Probably would triple the amount of what he's getting now. But contrary to popular belief, all attention isn't good attention. I'd rather for my subscribers to rock with my channel because they rock with my channel, not because they're waiting on me to be messy. And I think the same thing with Kogati. It's best for him to build a core fan base who actually appreciates his music versus people tapping in only waiting for him to uh, say something about Mo3 Op. So kudos to him, man. Uh, it actually looks like he's coming out with some new music. Uh, March Madness 223. Now, I don't know if this is a song or like a deluxe to his other project called March Madness, but it does look like he's gearing up to drop that. And also, he got up with Prophecy uh, to shoot a video for his single called Godspeed. The song Fire. It's over on his channel if you haven't checked it out yet. But that music video should be coming soon as well. And like I said, he's working with OMB Peasy. Long story short, I think before the end of this year, Kogati actually gonna turn up. Whether the blogs start posting them or not, that's up to them. But pretty soon, they're not gonna have a choice because his music definitely starting to speak for itself. On Bubba got 150,000 views in two months. I'm not trying to be funny. But a lot of Dallas, Texas rappers, right, with blue check marks on Instagram, they could barely even do that. So that should tell you a lot right there. Don't pay attention to the Instagram follow. Pay attention to the music. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZFBaby252. But long little mo three. Come gone. But shout out to all the good rappers in my city. They some real good rappers. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about three, dreaming about three, missing my nigga. Hey, mad at you, let him catch you, but fuck it, they said they gon' get him. Yeah. Prolific. Hey. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry.